How's your foot, my man? Good. Healing strong? Yeah. Alright, shall we do your pigs? Yeah. We're way Lob it over. Good. Cows and sheep are in here in the winter. They had a sacrifice area. We're protecting it from weeds with the silage tarp. We got some squashes coming on. We're gonna plant those in there and hope for the best. Last year didn't do it too good. Actually, it did about as good as these that we planted here. This was field dirt and it was super compact. Despite our success over here, which is on the edge, we're hoping maybe more in the middle, there's more nutrients and soil built that it'll actually work. We don't know unless we try. What's my motto, kids? Just plant. We've been having water problems out at our pigs. We got them a reservoir. We got a totally new system. They're drinking it. They're drinking almost half in a day. They're at it right now. It's working. I think we might switch it to the other side of the T-post. Shoot, this is broken off. And they're nibbling on me. Stop, guys. I'm trying to help you. The feed is wet, not coming through, and it's gotten disconnected. So the device isn't working. I'll watch it. You sure? Yeah. You wanna go on my back? Say no, I wanna play right here in this dirt. Okay, I'll be right there. How you doing, Ryder? Ryder is 100% back to normal. Thanks to her hearty spirit. Thanks to Rebecca's natural remedies. You're gonna live to see another day, aren't you? Hope that's Ryder. <laughs> that may be Ryder. Still. It's good when you can't tell because they're not sick. It smells like apple cider vinegar up in here. It really works though. Yeah. It's just apple cider vinegar, look. And it keeps the flies off while we milk her. I don't know how long it lasts throughout the day. But it keeps you steady, doesn't it, Phyllis? Ooh, we need to get our picture. We are selling her on the Abundance Plus Marketplace. Uh, so you members, look for that. Uh, definitely by the time you see this, it'll be up. How you guys holding up? They're right there in the dirt where they want to be. Looks like it's caked up a little bit. Yeah, this is caked on. I don't think it's stopping it from working, but. We might as well uncake it while we're in here. This would have definitely restricted the flow. Well guys, I think we fixed it once and for all. Let's read this up a little bit better. Now it's proven to work. These metal bands are not easy to break. That's too far back to do it like that. Do you think it is too far back? We're gonna need to do it like that. And then I could do a strap here and here. It really kind of needs to be like that. Okay, I hope they can get their mouths around. I hope so, they might not be able to, and that's okay, we'll pick something out. Let's see if they can even get it, so, so with that little bit of a nipple. They're the problem is, it's gonna, it, it can get pushed back, we need to wrap it around that knot. We need to go get more zip ties. Eh, 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 it's gonna start nibbling on the hose. Uh, 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 not gonna work, not gonna work. This is gonna kink over time too, guys. I don't necessarily know the solution. I'm just gonna pull it out. I think we rigged it. Oh look, oh let's cut that little tag off. I'm gonna zip tie it. You're getting it perfect. And it's not bending at this time. Got about 10 more minutes, chore time. We like to pack it in. We're gonna take that 10 minutes before the storm comes and dig up more potatoes. Big potato, even bigger potato. About to have these for lunch because you pierced them. The reason I stabbed them is because they're so big and they stick out really far. Cool. All right, wash them and put them in the oven for lunch. Okay. Well, yesterday I was unable to. Do a get up because of my sore back. 
kind of thinking it's the same today, but let's see. Uh, that was all right. Today's training, unlike yesterday's, I felt better. And one thing we realized, I actually probably did my get up wrong and I didn't clench enough and I actually probably pulled my back out doing that. And yet it happened, I pulled my back out and the carnivore is not gonna protect me from that, but it was probably just a tweak in bad form. So that's good. For lunch, I'm getting a little funky with the burger. I do do uh, spices. Mm -hmm. So we're doing a, uh, and we're gonna put raw oh, egg, or egg in there. This is meat loafy. It is a meat loafy. Oyster side sauce. We got them patty. They look delish. We're gonna try something different today. We're gonna get this pan really hot and we're gonna try to just sear it. And then hopefully it won't cook and we'll finish cooking it in the oven. I have eaten burgers every day for the last 59 days. Tomorrow is 60 days of carnivore. And I love it. Absolutely love it. And I'm just beginning to tap the tip of the iceberg. I think it's one of those things where I just stick with it. I can make all different kinds. I can perfect it. And I think I could spend the rest of my life doing that. If you cook a large variety of things, do you ever master it? Like if I make a burger every day, plus we have it sometimes for dinner, let's say 400 times a year, that's 1200 times in just three years. Yeah. What we want here is a sizzle. They're hair crumbly, but I saute them good. And they're not done, so here we go. How the potatoes turn out? Well, I saw this outside thing right here, and I thought, uh, oh dear, that's all right. We can cook. We can harvest around the outside. Yeah. Burgers seem to turn out nice. They'll be different tasting, that's for sure. Good. Worcestershire might be a little strong. And it's not like a real firm bite. It's a little it's soft. Like, it's like a, it's like. So it might have the. Uh, it's like meatloaf. Half the recipe, but it's good. It's a good. It's a good taste difference. If you eat burgers every day, this is good. Yeah. You don't want this recipe every day, but it mixes it up from just regular salt, pepper. Try that burger, babe. I like it. I know. It is a little oh. flavorful on the Worcestershire. Yeah. It's very meatloafy. That's good. So maybe we'll half the Worcestershire next time, maybe half the eggs, because I want a little more firm. Yeah. It was falling apart.